Welcome back to Creeper World 4. So the game is out and it's time to jump back into the far side expedition here where we're going to go to a mission that's called We Were Not Alone. Things are only getting worse and it has been that way longer than humans have even been sentient. So essentially, as we're exploring the universe, we're doing so at a time where we realize, hey, we've lost our core worlds of Earth and Mars, and we're traveling around space, kind of understanding how this creeper just destroyed everything. So on this mission, we've got to decide where our base is. Now, these three emitters here are going to be producing the creeper, a living wave of blue goo that is looking to consume and destroy everything and we have to defend ourselves against it. This is what I'm worried about. These three launchers are gonna launch like random missiles, mortars of enemy creeper up in the air, right? And in order to do that, we're gonna have to fight them off with our missile systems. And you can see their like area of coverage. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna fortify these two walled compounds first, and we need to find out where we're gonna materialize our base. And I'm thinking right here looks pretty good. And there's this thing called a delegate. And it's over here. It's one of the uh, optional, or I guess it's the main one, is reclaim the planet. And the delegate studies how much creepers there, I guess? It's very strange, and I have not a clue what this thing does, what an Ultrak does. Hello, Ultrak, what do you do? Tell me your secrets. So one of the things we're gonna wanna do first is connect. Can we connect here? Oh, it's just not long enough. That's unfortunate. So that means I'm gonna have to put a tower in the middle? Oh, wow. So this is our vulnerable point. We can't use antennas which have a longer range, but essentially this cable, if you're new, it's basically a power line, and it's gonna allow us to transfer resources back and forth. Now, I'm also gonna have to get some mines up and running and yes they call them mines all right so i think that's good enough for government work to get the game started and you can see how the creeper just spawns out of these emitters and it's gonna move along these tracks i imagine till it gets to these emitters oh they're already firing yikes okay yeah i definitely need missiles up probably first so i think it's very important that we get these red on mines up and then i'm gonna produce oh you know what we're gonna need is uh towers up here because i'm gonna need a few uh missiles on the corners, I think. Oh, I definitely want one here and one here and that should work too. Oh wait, we need a factory. Okay, that is gonna need to be put up right here. Okay, and the creeper's gonna be spreading. So after the missiles are up because these things are gonna be firing in a few minutes and I think they might accelerate. Okay, so now we're powering these missiles up and they will be able to defend us. And now it's time to, I guess, create the defenses. And I'm thinking maybe mortars on them. We'll put some over here. Okay, so when are these things gonna fire? So in two minutes, okay, we, we've got a little bit more time. The mortars are firing, so they're gonna start taking away little bits of creeper to slow them down. And I've gotta hold this ridge, because this is a very, very key ridge. Oh, here we go. They're firing. Okay, so you can see their trajectories and our missiles should intercept them. But like, look at how many there are. Wait, are each one of them firing two? So there's 12? I don't know if our missiles are gonna be able to defend this. Let's see. Okay, we've taken out most of them. There's two more in the air. Okay, we have accurate. Oh my God, look at this. One of them must have hit here. That mortar's gonna be destroyed, actually. I should have picked it up. Jeez. Okay, well, uh, we're running a big deficit as well. If you look in the upper left corner and the way to increase that, or rather reduce that by increasing our energy production is to produce more miners. So we're gonna be doing that. We'll get four more in there and that's, they're pretty much maxed out. We seem to be holding back the creeper. So now it's a matter of uh, being able to deal... Oh gosh, we lost a missile system over here. With the incoming rockets. Because if they do land, we are in a... A bit of a situation, needless to say. And pushing back the creeper is going to be quite a... Uh, well, it's going to be kind of tricky. So my reclaiming, I've only, I'm only holding about... I guess they're saying 5% of the map right now? Or maybe just 5% of this bottom area here. And look at that, man. They just keep pumping them out. And then the spores keep firing. But once we stop these two emitters, it'll be pretty easy. Because we are going to be operating an incredible amount. Okay, we're getting ready for the fire again. Most of them are going to hit except for, well, I guess three aren't major threats. But there's a lot coming over here. Let's see if our, our aerial defenses are up for the task. I love this. The whole firing missiles to intercept them. Uh-oh. One just detonated down there. Oh, one almost detonated. Okay, one did detonate and hit right here, but it was fortunately covered by some mortars. Okay, so we realized that we could use a few more missile systems probably on the high ground. 
make Hannigan very mad about it. So one of the things that I want to do is kind of do a uh, planned airdrop here because I'm going to be producing a lot of cannons. This is going to be my D-Day attack wave. We're going to be producing nine of them. And then we're probably going to move them as close as we can to the front lines. So we need to make sure we have a supply line, right? If I move these guys down, they'll be able to shoot more and potentially clear out an area. And now it's just going to be a slow moving to the front. All right. Wow, that's out. Maybe we'll want another missile system back here. And fire the missiles and intercept the giant plasma balls. Yeah, I guess some of the missiles miss their targets, but then they'll fall back to Earth. Maybe if more than one fire at one. I saw one, so we should see at least one fall down. Our air defense is solid. There it is. See? And boom. Wow, that, that did a lot. Okay. All right, boys. Let's create the supply and let's move these guys in all here. And I guess one of the things that would be good to do is put a few cannons near critical things just so they'll be the guards. And look at that. These guys just storm and just like immediately start pushing them back. And then it's a slow and methodical... There we go, look at that. So our reclaiming percentage is almost at 20% right now. I'm starting to feel pretty good. And I think it will get exponentially easier once we can stop one of these emitters from operating here. Because they produce 500 creeper every, what, 8 seconds? My goodness. That's an incredible amount. And once more onto the breach here with these mines. So we'll get two in. Oh, you know what? I need to destroy this. Uh oh, wow. I may have compromised my supply here. <laughs> we might be running an energy deficit for a short bit because we're not producing any anything until that tower's up, but now I think we're good. Aerial defense. Excellent. It's so cool, man. This game has so many amazing mechanics in it. All right, so I think now that we've held this wall very well, it's time to push down with all of these. I'm going to try to land them all in a line right here once these power lines are done. And I'm producing six other mortars over there. The push. We're still running a massive energy deficit. Uh, and that won't help once I start firing all these guys. All right, everybody go and land. So they're going to push out a little bit. Oh, that's... Should we have done it all at the same time? Oh, the missile? We don't want the missile. There's another missile too. Yeah, we don't need you guys down there. Oh, something just died. I think it was our antenna. Our pylon. And we must... So we must construct additional pylons then. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're... They're not being supplied? Is that the issue? Oh, they're not being supplied. Ha! <laughs> Oh my god, that, that's almost a disaster. Uh oh, that actually might be pretty close to a disaster. That's what happens when you expand out and you don't have your supply system down. So then it's just a lot of rearrangement. All right, the mortars are here. Let's start putting them in. We're going to target this area over here. We're, we're actually kind of just like moving out in unison because essentially what we have to do is we have to clear all the creeper out and then we can put this thing in, which is a nullifier and he'll destroy that. All right, we've got more here. Let's first get the tower to power. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure that we are able to continue having missiles support. Looks like it's going well though. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I like these walls. It'd be kind of cool if you could have like earth movers or earth builders to like build natural fortifications, but I guess that's, you could do that in the world creator, right? Okay, move you four up. Guess there's only three of you. Missed one. Oh, we're very close to being able to nullify this guy. Very close. I'm glad that they fly very fast because that definitely keeps us in the action. So now what we should be able to do is get a nullifier in here. We'll need two very close guns and maybe a missile around here. Then we can nullify. There we go. Look at that. Oh, nope, he destroyed that nullifier. Maybe it was too close. All right, here we go. Protect the nullifier. That means once that's done, then it's just this guy. And then we'll combine our whole networks here with these large pylons. Oh, and I've got these guys ready. So let's bring them in. Whoa. Oh, shoot. We lost the pylon up there. We need immediate reinforcements on the high ground. Is he nullified? He is. Look, so now that he's nullified, he's not going to be producing anything. And we can move steadily over here. And once this guy's done, it is going to be far, far easier to manage this. All right, so let's concentrate. Let us maximize the forward firing power. Although when you're moving around a lot, your fire rate goes down. So you do have to account for that, which I don't always do. And let's go ahead and get another missile system to protect this area, since that is what's happening. One's going to land on these pylons. But I'd say our air defense is even better than our ground wall. Look at this from this viewpoint. How many how many enemy projectiles to track? Well, not too many, apparently. Oh, there's still one going. Who's going to hit that? Oh, there he is. It looks like it takes two missiles 
per each of them. All right, we want to get these four turrets and land them all like right in front of it, which is dangerous because they'll just be able to just like absolutely smash it. And then we nullify. Oh, they keep destroying it. All right, time to nullify it. Although it's very tricky. Oh, one's landing here. That would have been pretty bad. All right, I should be able to pull this off. We've taken this high ground here. I don't see any, and the reclaiming is going up. Oh, something just got destroyed. It was the nullifier. Should we try to do two nullifiers? I don't see a, that's maybe the safest it can go. There we go. Okay, this guy's almost dead. He could use some help. And it's almost done. And then it needs to get a little happy. It needs to rise up. It needs to get powered up. Okay, come on. Just nullify this threat. This guy's almost done. Let's pull him out. Get him on the high ground. Wow, I think he would have died there, actually. And then I need to protect it with a missile. It's a very valuable area. Yes! Two of the main threats have been nullified. The emitters. There's one more here in the middle. He's producing a thousand. But we've already taken their production down by 50%. Because these two were each 500. I'm kind of curious. What happens if I... Oh, I can power that. Okay. I think it's a... I think it's an anti creep Whoa! Okay. I should have done that way long ago. It's a force field. Just by powering it. I just needed to connect to it. No way. Well, that's awesome. What happens if a projectile is going to hit it? This one looks like it's going to intersect. Let's see. Does it reach? Does it breach? Well, it got shot down my missiles anyway. Look at that. Oh, man. All right, well, this is going to be the new base of operations within the shield generator. It's like that shield is big enough to protect an entire city. Kind of reminds me of the, the like Echo base from uh, Empire Strikes Back. That shield generator, which protected the planet from like orbital bombardment. So that's why the AT-ATs were there. Like, how come they didn't just kill it with Star Destroyers and TIE Fighters? Well, shield generators, that's why. Okay, the protective shield is... Look at that, man. That's awesome. All right, well... All these guns are ready to go, so we're gonna put them on the front lines. And now we just have to make sure they all have access to the power grid, I guess you could call it. And we'll just be able to push forward here. We're gonna concentrate everything and just silence this emitter. Incoming! Yeah, man, we, we have missile coverage everywhere. And I do wanna have one even within the uh, center grid here. Defense, look at, look at on the minimap, I just realized. On the mini-map, you can see the missile coverage, and it is impressive. Oh, something blew up. We lost something. I'm not entirely sure what it was. All right, so now I'm gonna put a pylon here on the high ground. Start moving my little guns out to take this high ground. All right, all four of these missiles within the shield are active. Let's see how many get shot down much, much earlier this time. I think maybe the height is what makes it difficult. We have to get them on their, when they're descending, apparently. Oh, and these ones are still going, but they're within coverage. Boom. So it's just, it's just moving the, uh, building up the grid and pushing to silence the final emitter, which is 1,000 creeper. Is that a second or every... Oh, okay, 1,000 every 16 seconds. Whoa, 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 something's powering up. Okay, there's a reclaim charge. Okay, so this this is delicate. Look at it, it's charging. Okay. Uh, will it produce anti-creeper? Will we get... That sound is like... It's like a jet engine. What do I get? A, a super laser? Anti-creeper? Come on, delegate. Activated. What do you do? What, 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 what is this? Oh. Oh, man. I thought it was gonna be like some like, well, that allowed us to jump, but I need to nullify the enemies to get my bonus objectives. Dang, I thought we were gonna get something amazing. I mean, that's cool, but at the same time, what just happened? All right, we're almost there. We need to nullify all of the enemies. Man, it just, it, it sounds like war because, well, quite frankly, it is, but the amount of like, when the missiles go off, man, the absolute cacophony that we get. Okay. It's almost time. Wow, 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 yeah. How many guns will I need to silence that? I've produced a bunch. I produced six over here. So we're gonna just do a little bit of that. That should be enough, let's hope. Here they come. Reinforcements are arriving. Yeah, those first two are gonna be up against it, but there's gonna be a lot more support. Where's the closest spot I can get an emitter or a nullifier? Here. Oh, immediately destroyed. Okay. Oh, oh, that, that one's landing right there. Oh, yikes. You know what? I can gain access to these spore launchers over here. So why don't we do that? <laughs> so this is what it looks like right now. Like, look at all those power lines. It's 
kind of crazy. Yeah, so when looking at it this way, it's like, obviously, let's just shut down these three spores. And can I just get one power cable and then one nullifier in the middle? Oh, yeah. That's the way to do it. That's kind of cool, though, that one nullifier can target anything within its radius. So then what I want to do here is creep over to here. And then can I get a tower up here? Yes, I can. Okay, so then I'll put a one of the gun installations in a very safe spot. And he'll just start whittling that down. Can I fit two anywhere? Ha! <laughs> we silenced those three, so it's only these three that are firing. And then that'll allow me to get pylon and pylon. And nullify. And that's just silencing this thing. I think we need more mortars and the guns to be closer. Yeah, I need to hit it with a massive wave. Oh, something died. Oh, the, the nullifier got taken out. Oh, that's because it's on the blue. Okay. Yeah, we need a cannon up there. We can do that. And nullify those three after they fire. Oh, one's going to land right on this missile or right on this gun. I guess we could move him. We could get him some reinforcements. Okay. Nullify. And this could be GG. Oh, wow. We could gain access to... I, I want to do it just because it seems like a cool idea to have a little power base up here. Ooh. Dang, every time I need more mortars. Definitely need a lot more mortars. Cause right when it fires, we're giving it everything we got, Captain. Look at this, it's just blasting him. Oh, come on. It's almost there. A lot of guns are, are really having a hard time here. We'll put three mortars on the high ground up there to help finish off that area. But if this emitter holds, maybe I could get another emitter or another nullifier. Oh yeah, we'll have three. Just in case this one falls, we're, we're, we're definitely going to get the next one. Objective attained? Okay, we've nullified everything. So now it's just this, but we don't have to destroy it because it's not one of our objectives. So let's go ahead and rift jump. We were never alone. Ooh, an achievement unlocked. Yeah, so I guess this campaign is the lore missions. And what's at the center of this? Well, the next one is called Hints. Each world is worse than the last, but perhaps there is a glimmer of hope. Let's check. take a look here at this map oh dude no way we've got another oh man so we've got like the, all these towers and then this energy shield here and what is that ac okay so this is an anti-creeper source there's mining material up here there's a green r which you can actually use drones to protect there's radon there's the old track which i still don't entirely know what that does oh my god what, what are these things crystals we've got spore launchers crystals there's all sorts of stuff but this is like this looks like a veritable fortress here with the shield wall and the natural physical walls behind it oh man oh wow look at all that mining space okay uh so if i were to do this do i have any new weapon systems oh a sprayer okay we have some Something called a spray, which it sprays anti-creeper. No way. I should get busy and make a lot of miners to build blueite. That will be needed for the new sprayers. This structure has a similar mechanism to the anti-creeper temples I've encountered. Hmm. Amazing. And we can even like, we can enable anti-creeper blocking or we can take it off. That's kind of cool. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Creeper World 4. The game is out today, December 3rd. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.